we're talking about North Korea, most people would often refer to it as a dangerous country. But North Korea is like a bat. Okay, I know that sounds strange, but North Korea is like a bat. When we were little, we were told lots of stories of how bats could turn into vampires and kill people. But that's not true. Bats are just bats and they can't turn into vampires. But they can do other things. They can bite you. Um, but that barely ever happens. And if it does happen, there's little or no chance that you'll get rabies and die. Only one, half of 1% of all bats actually carry rabies anyway. North Korea is like this. We all hear stories about it and expect the worst, especially because of their nuclear weapons, which are obviously scary and are, and are of real concern. But until that becomes reality, it's still like that rare bat that might bite you and might have rabies. The truth is, the only real threat that North Korea poses is to its own citizens. If given the rare opportunity to actually speak to the oh-so-great North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, he would probably say North Korea is free of poverty. But that's not true. This country has a huge problem when it comes to poverty. And this is mainly caused by the fact that they spend all their money on nuclear um, and military, and their, their nuclear and military program. The lives of an average North Korean are not surprisingly affected by this. All of us sitting here today probably expect to have access to electricity and water, a decent salary, maybe one day, three meals a day, transport, and education. In our minds, these are basic necessities that most of us have, or and most people we know have. But for the average person living in North Korea, life is very different. They are expected to get by on a salary of about 28 rand a month. Electricity is a luxury that few people have, and even if you can afford it, you might only get one or two hours daily. Um, out of a population of, uh, of about 25 million people, only 1.5 million people actually own cell phones. At night, the country basically goes dark, showing how little electricity they really have. During Kim Jong-il's, the former president's time, he introduced a two meal a day campaign. The food that made up each meal did not make up dietary requirements, and as a result, about 3 million people died. Farm is, farming is not an obvious solution, as only 17% of North Korea's land is arable. The things farmers in South Africa and the rest of the world take for granted are not so easy, easily found in North Korea. As a result, North Korean farmers rely on citizens to give them human feces to fertilize the soil and crops within North Korea. As you can imagine, along with obvious pitfalls of this method, disease and illness are also experienced. To get around, most North Koreans use bicycles or they walk. This is also because cars are a luxury. For every 1,000 citizens, there's about one car. Even if they do have cars, petrol is not really that available either. Since electricity is restricted, traffic is managed by people. There are no robots. Although, like most countries in the world, school is mandatory, many children do not go. This is because, although the school, uh, school fees are free, the parents have to pay for everything, from chairs to books to tables to everything you see in a classroom. And with a salary of about 28 rand, as I said before, this is not always possible. Children that do attend school are expected to do manual labor that supposedly helps their country. At this point, you must be wondering, if things are so terrible for the average North Korean, why don't they stand up and do something about it? The sad reality is that from a young age, North Koreans are indoctr indoctrinated, and this lifestyle that I told you about is idealized. They believe that basically this is, is as good as it gets. They do not dare defy or question their leader, leaders, who supposedly are immortal, even though two of them have died. 
and who supposedly have godlike powers. When a citizen does question the leader, they continue to follow the rules, as there's little chance of escape and change is believed to be impossible. Furthermore, the consequences of not following the rules or trying to escape are terrible. Uh, regular public, public executions happen all the time and families are forced to watch as one of their family members slowly dies through an, in, a terrible death. It would then seem that as in the case of the scary stories about bats, while a lot of what we hear about North Korea, such as the facts about their nuclear program and weapons, um, is a da such as the fact is a dangerous country because of their nuclear program, is true and is of, of concern to, to us and the rest of the world. The reality for people living there is even more scary. Or as Mark Twain famously said, the reality of North Koreans is stranger than the fiction of possibly turning into a vampire.